So you've picked up your Solar Party Viewer kit, and let's go through what's in it. You've got your box, you've got an index card, some awesome planetary trading cards, and a plus one reading lens. You're also gonna need some tape, some scissors or a box cutter, and a pencil. So now that we've got one end taped closed, we're gonna cut a viewing window on our viewer. So we're gonna cut a six inch rectangle. And once we've got that cut out, we're going to insert our index card inside the box and tape it down. On the other end of the box, we are gonna cut away some of the material on the bottom flaps so that we can have a better viewing hole. We're gonna make sure that we tape up all the edges, that way we don't have any light leaks obscuring our view of the eclipse. Our next step is to take a pencil and poke a hole in the center of the box and wiggle it around a little bit so you get a really good hole. So for our last step, we're gonna take our lens and we're gonna cover up that hole and then we're gonna take our tape and tape down that lens on the edges. Now that we've finished building our eclipse viewer, now we can start using it. So we're gonna point the lens end towards the sun and while looking away from the sun, we're then gonna look down at our viewer. Uh, so make sure that when you're looking at the shadow, it is a perfect square of the box and you get it nice and lined up and then your eclipse should shine on your white index card. So the reason that we use the lens at the end of our solar viewer is because it creates a sharper image projected on our screen. So you can experiment and take that lens off, see what it looks like. It should be a little fuzzy and out of focus and then put that lens back on and it should become a nice clear and crisp image of the sun. You never wanna look at the sun. So make sure you're using your solar viewer or wearing your special eclipse glasses. Anyone can take a look at the viewing area. You can even prop it up against a chair or a bench and that way everyone can see it.